Uh, by the way. Which? Why we don't give... Have a mic? Yeah. Oh, I'll see if we can have one. I, just <laughs> I don't know. There to go? Yeah. I don't. You don't need a mic. I can hear you. Hi. Uh, you've described this local scene as a 2.0. How different is this side to the one that went to the Etihad and lost the ball on the season? I don't know even if to line up from last season or not because um, I don't want to know it. I just don't think like this. Um, and I don't want to compare and stuff like this. We had to improve from last season, it's clear. I actually think without without any kind of changes, we would have improved from last season because the last season was just not good enough for us not ourselves and these kind of things. But um, we had to make changes as well, and we did that. And um, I'm not sure I've described the team as two point. I think it's be described rather the project or the, the things we have to do as uh, we need to grade Liverpool two point nil because um, we had a very successful team um, and super team and super boys, super characters, but. Time is running. Uh, we all get older and stuff like this, and we cannot, we, we will not, never be successful because we were successful, um, and that's what we have to, um, had to. We, we no, not to understand. We knew it, but what we had to do, and that's what we did. And um, yeah, so far it looks like we 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 were, um, we brought in good players and all that, um, and now we have to make sure that we bring that consistently on the on the pitch, and. Um, Saturday is a, is a is a big one, no doubt about that. It's the strongest team in the world for the last um, years, and um, so that's um, a massive task for each football team in the world for us as well. But we will give it a try anyway. Um, City won twenty three games. Well, um, <laughs> um, so we shall not drive. And my record, our record, is not great, right? That's the next thing you will tell me, probably. Well, I was going to ask, um, <laughs> how much is this about? maybe stopping them playing, and how much is it about allowing your team to express themselves? What I know, the longer a, a run is going, the more likely it is that it ends. So we had that as well. I'm not sure it was Burnley, I think. Yeah. So there's always, <laughs> it took much longer, by the way, but um, so, you know, they are extremely strong and it's nothing what I can say what, 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 what makes them weaker, to be honest. Otherwise, I would say it, constantly repeat it, um, but there's nothing. <laughs> um, this is a tough game. But um, yeah, whatever happens last year, what happened two years ago, three years ago, it's just a memory. It's nothing else. So we have to be ready for tomorrow. And that's what we try to be. And if we are that, that's what I said millions of times, if we can be really uncomfortable for them, then we have a chance. If, we, if they feel comfortable in their game, there's no team who can beat them. But if we can change that... Then it's a chance, and we have to take it then on top of that because that's not given then as well. Um, but I like it; it's much nicer. I'm pretty sure, so I can't remember my feelings last year before the game. But um, I probably was not massively optimistic and thought, "Okay, let's go there and we change, uh, we change everything there." Now in that game, um, if it feels like we are a bit closer, it's good. But on match day, you still have to win the decisive battles on the pitch. And that's what we, for that, you need to be close enough to these decisive um, duels. And um, for that, you have to be compact. And then on top of that, you have to play football yourself a lot. Um, and that's all challenging, all, but all exciting as well. And um, yeah, let's see. And finally, Darwin Nunez scored. Uh, three goals for Uruguay in the international break. Um, how much is his game on the Bielsa as well now? How much is his game developed? Uh, and is it such that he'd be ready to potentially get involved on Saturday? I don't know that we have 12 different players but for that position so we have they all came back pretty much from international so we have to make these decisions and, I, that's the, and for that these decisions I have to wait until uh, at three is the meeting at four is training so yeah until then, um, look in their eyes, talk to them, blah, 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 and then figure out who is ready to start and who is probably better to bring on. Um, but yes, yes, they all, I would say, um, nearly all had a really good international break. Um, so Colombia was really successful. Lucho scored twice. Um, and Uruguay obviously did really well. Um, so we have to see. But yes, he's in a good moment and we want to use him as often as possible. But if it's possible... 
I don't know in this moment. Hi, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, obviously, there are some very big rivalries in the Premier League, but has, has this now become the biggest game in the Premier League? I am not sure if that's the same thing we are talking about. So the rivalry, I don't know. I have to ask other people. For us, on the sports, on a, from a sports point of view, it was the most difficult game you can play since years. Since I'm here, probably. So, but the rivalry probably is a minute longer. Or blah blah blah. The fans have to decide that and these kind of things. But on a, from a football point of view, we needed some time to become a rival on the pitch. Um, but then we were that and lost still games and they lost against us and stuff like the big things Champions League quarterfinal I think was it so big games um, from football time of point of view definitely yes Mo Salah I think has got 11 goals against City for, for Liverpool he's closing in on 200 goals for the club <laughs> as well can he still improve or are we seeing right now his absolute peak for the player of course, he can improve, but that's all about um, the consistency and little moments in games. It would be it would be a shame if he, he's not forty three. So, um, you know, we ask for that. He expects it from him. Why would he come and be the first in the in the in the, in the, in the building then every morning and the last going out um, if he doesn't want to improve? Um, and yeah, of course he can, but it's not. It's really not about that. So, and um, it's about. Uh, He gained that experience over the years that he knows um, much more about the game. So where are the positions? Where is that? He's obviously a completely different player to the, to the boy who arrived here. And he was good, good that day, that time. That's why we signed him. Um, but now that the experience in dealing with different situations is a, it is a completely different animal, actually. So he... Um, He's really good with his teammates, like with all the offensive players. They all looked up to him, but um, but they but but he's really um, supportive to them, and um, that's a really good connection. So and that's something in the beginning, Mo had to be more for himself to find his feet himself and find a way to 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 to, to impress me, to impress everybody, to prove everybody wrong, maybe and stuff like this. That's now completely settled, and having still this desire to score, that makes him the player he is, um, and that's pretty special. And, I've said it that probably a million of million times. Long may it continue. You have a, a really good understanding with, with Darwin. Um, <laughs> yeah. Is that because of what they do out there on the training field, or is there kind of a, a, a natural? These players, these you, you cannot become a. a a Liverpool player, if you are not if you are not really football smart, so that means they are really football smart. And what would you do if you are on the ball and you you, you sprint with nine hundred miles per hour down the line, and then you find and you think who could be so could have same speed and is there in the right position? It'd probably more. So the other players are quick as well, but that's why Darwin and and more that that's where it's clicking. That's where they look for each other and stuff like this. But it's not that they cut out the other boys. It's just a different way of play. So um, that's like when we played with. Bobby's more centrally, but a bit deeper. But then was the I'm not exactly sure what the numbers are between Sadio and Mo, but they probably were pretty good as well, um, because they were the, 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 the first two arriving in the in the opposition box. So if you want to pass the ball, then it's probably to one of them, and um, that's it. But uh, generally, from the beginning, and that's what I said before, the, 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 how Mo supports the boys um, is Darwin came here. Big expectations, and Mo understood the situation probably the best, um, and saw his potential, and uh, and wanted to help him. And that's how, without have, having you know, the longest conversations because of some language issues, that for sure was the start for a pretty special partnership. Mate, yeah, again, it's the top two in the table again. I mean, quite often these games have been fabulous adverts for, for Premier League football. But, but given what happened last season for, for both clubs and the, the major overhaul that you've had to make to your team during the summer, what do you think have been the key factors that have enabled you to be just one point step greater? Yeah, we are, we are. Just almost as better this season gone. Uh, yeah, but what we did to get the point, the point, Sally, I can tell you what they, what, what City now exactly did. Um, to have not already 36 points, what they had in the past as well after 12 match days. Um, I, I don't know 100%, but point here, point there, stuff like this. Uh, unexpected, obviously. Everybody probably in the whole country, with having sitting in your mind, before each game you think, oh, they will win that. 
I oh, yeah, they will win that. So and most of the time it happens. So that's just the quality they have and the biggest strength they have with all the things they've won in the last few years. The desire they show to win the next one is pretty special. To be honest, I, they, I think they didn't. There was not one point they lost because they were not really there. Like, oh my God, do we really have to play here? Uh, not at all. They are in the games, and the opponent had to fight extremely hard to get something out of the game. So, um, and what we what we had to do? No, we spoke about it already. So we had to change, and in the same moment we had to improve, and that's obviously a bit of a. A, a real challenge to be honest to change is one thing but it has to work out immediately imagine we would have changed and um, it wouldn't work out we always we had famously I think in the last few years new players always came in and needed a while to start for us stuff like this but that was as well because we had a pretty stable formation so now we open up we open a door in midfield but it meant as well um, our our boys who were already here are really still really young, like Harvey, Curtis, especially Harvey, for, for example, um, and the other boys who came in had pretty much to step in immediately. So the, the, the luck we had was that we had a proper preseason together. So if that's a normal summer, like the next summer, which would make it much more tricky with the, all the tournaments, South of um, Copa America and Euros, um, it would be completely different. But here we had now time to work together, and that um, gave us the opportunity to find to find together a bit quicker and that's why we could have the results and then to create a new team and a new team dynamic you need it helps if you have to overcome difficulties stuff like this um, you cannot and you won't, don't want to create them in training camps you want to create them with physical give them a physical job which they barely can do uh, and then when they get through this they feel the pain together um, during a season it's obviously much more difficult but we got that through the the, the stories of the games we played with being 10 men down 9 men down stuff like this and overcoming these situations so yeah we needed luck there as well um, and we had it I think the boys deserved it but that gave it gave us a direction but I'm far off sitting here now and feeling we have we got city so the only thing we have to do we go there find a, the entrance and then we we have the three points so that's not the case we are we, our development goes in the right direction but I'm really not um, there and say uh, City be aware or whatever so they, they are who they are and they are strong extremely strong uh, and we have to be as strong as somehow possible and then let's see what we can get for it I know it doesn't affect this fixture, but can I ask your your immediate reaction when you found out about Everton's points deduction last week? And did you think it was? A lot of people think it's very over the top. Ah, uh, I was absolutely not in the in the subject. To be honest, I, I, I was. Did I know that there was a? No, I, have to, I don't think I knew it. I just heard about it, and then ten points, and um, and I was a lot of discussion. What I. Uh, what I heard, they they appeal, they appeal it, and that's it. Uh, everybody would do that probably, but that's all I can say about it. Carl, um, we know Alexis McAllister has been doing the job for you at six. I'm just wondering if you can assess how well that adaptation to that newer role has gone, and does tomorrow present the biggest test of how well is that adaptation? First and foremost, I don't know the lineup in this moment, uh, so I don't know. Um, we have to really, as I said before, we have to have to talk to a lot of people before I make that. Um, no, if so, because I understand that that from the outside world, it's always about how is a player in this position, in this position, in this position. But in the end, it's all about how you how the whole team is set up. So, is Maka a natural born six? No. Did full of, full football develop in the last year in directions we couldn't have imagined before? Yes. Does that mean that a player like Maka can play the six? Definitely. It depends to how the whole team defends. That's it. Easy as that. Easy as that. And if you do that properly, then you have an incredible player in a central position, an extra player in a central position who find passes, who is a forward-thinking player and all these kind of things. So 
Now you have to, do you want to have somebody there who is just knocking players down and if in possession he thinks oh, it's not my job so I um, give me a break stuff like this so it's, and it's not that easy um, I like him there a lot to be honest um, and we as a team we can benefit a lot from it if we make sure we are we have a really compact formation and that's what we need and that's what we especially need tomorrow of course Not 12 months, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the one thing that you've seen that changed significantly? I mean, what have we Our football team, football team, I'm not sure in this for sure in the last year, but in the last years, football teams are coached much better. That's how it is. So we can, we can play different systems, can, most of us at least, um, can. Teams are much better organized in possession. Possession was in the past really a lot about um, a bit of coincidence and individual quality. Even that is much better organized now and all these kind of things. The analyze is much better. You, 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 to surprise an opponent is pretty much impossible nowadays. I think that was possible years ago. Um, all these kind of things. So in details, the, the game changed massively. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I believe you can for the title. Sorry, what was the first word? A trend. A trend. Ah. <laughs> said, said that. Oh. I don't know before the game. So you look, a lot of things can happen. But where we want to start with a bad? So we play bad and lose. Possible. We play bad and win. I would say it's unlikely. It's pretty much not possible against City. Uh, we play very good and don't win. It's possible. That's football. We play very good and win. And it all would would happen to exactly the same team because we, we this team doesn't have to pass a test now or something like that. The direction we are going is up is really is really the right one. That's obvious. We are not perfect. We saw that. We only played I okay, it was international break, but the game before our last Premier League game was to lose. We were not good there. I made a lot of changes so it goes really on my my responsibility, but we still were not good and against loot we were not good. So, um got a point or fine could have won the game, but if we win that game we were not good that night. That's how it is. But in a lot of games so far this is we were good and deserved what we got in a, in a different situation. So with 10 men, we were outstanding for a team man, one man down. With nine men, we were e exceptional. With two men down, so these kind of things, that's all us. And it has nothing to do with the next game. But of course, we play that game, but it's not a test how close how close can we get to City. So that's it's just a, a really a super exciting football game. I, one of these, you know, I would watch wherever I am on the planet. I would. Because why wouldn't you watch this game? So it's like everything there you need. But for us, it's not about being excited. That kind of excitement. So like, oh my God, can't wait. So we have to prepare it properly. And we know we have to be at our best to get a chance. If we have that, it's about us to, to take it. We will see. Last one for the breakout, Will. There are only the... Long-term absentees are still out. No new concerns before I enter this room. Eh? So, um, Conor, Conor Bradley completed normal in training, but now he needs to play games, uh, starting with the U with, with the U21. Mm -hmm. Kate Gordon was with us in training the whole week, which is really exciting. Looks really good. Has now to gain minutes, but. Um, I think that's it. Last one here. Hi, Jürgen. Um, Hi. You were quite vocal about your displeasure at the kickoff time when it was announced earlier. In the <laughs> Can you tell us what effect does the lunch time kickoff in such a game have on its preparation? No, because I'm obviously I'm 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 not my English is not good enough to make sure that you all understand it. So why should I waste my time or your time, Thomas? Not 12.30, but the general, the general schedule. Thomas Tuchel had an interesting... He explained completely calm 
why it's so difficult to be a high quality footballer with national team stuff like this. And a German newspaper made Tuchel had a rant. I watched it and I thought, if that's a rant, I wanna well, that's a difficult world. And he was completely calm. So try to get a translation of that, then you know why this cat you and they have lesser games than we have in England. Nobody wants to hear it, you don't want to hear it. Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants to hear to my explanation. I tried a couple of times. Whatever I say, you always say, ah, but is that much a different? Uh, so I'm, I'm really a bit tired of that. I love playing at 1230. That's my new <laughs> attitude. But, 